everyone and welcome to my place. If you're looking for a little bit of three-dimensional, sort of living green, sort of something gorgeous that looks like it's living with a few fresh flowers in it, I think I've got you covered. Look at this, isn't this just fantastic? I do lots and lots of work with these. Please don't ask me where I get them because it's really hard for me to find a supplier that will provide for stuff all around the world. But I know that you can get things like this on eBay and at Amazon. But the great thing about these is they come, it's all artificial and it comes in this grid and they're fantastic for doing like living artificial walls or for doing art for in your house because I really love to like I used to paint but now I just like to have if I make something I like to have it to be able to put on the wall or on my table and this is just perfect okay so I don't like those yellow flowers and they will go in due course and you'll see why the other thing I've got here is a just a frame a, just an ordinary old everyday frame and it's been used that many times but I've taken I've just given it a wee wash around the outside and I've also put the string on it already so that it's out of the way and that's just a little bit of fishing line. Right, to this, it's just a matter of turning that over, making sure it's the right way, making sure this is the right way. Now, you can either use fishing line to fix it and around the edges or you can just do what I do and I just love cable ties and you'll see that it's with the grid here. If I get this in the right position, I should be able to just cable tie tie that on and the thing about cable tying things on and I could nail it into place but I don't want to do that because often when I'm doing things I think oh I might just have to use that and I pull it to pieces so the cable ties are my very very best friend except you've got to get them the right way so I'll just push that onto there pull that tight I'll put another one here and you, you'll notice I'm using white because I've got a white frame and then I'll put the other one over to here. It needs more than this, but this will do for now. And then just cut all of those bits off so that they are not in my way. So working neatly as you go. Right, turning that around, and there we have it. That's quite firm and fixed for now, so I'm pleased that I didn't nail it on because it didn't need it to be nailed on. Right, with that, because I've got the base, I've got this lovely artificial forms here. I've got some nice ferns. I've got some rattan garland here. I've got these beautiful, beautiful little wee, like wedding beady things which will be quite beautiful for what I'm going to do today. Plus I've got a living orchid. I've also got over here some fresh orchids. I've also got these little wee glass vials that I've put a leaf around that I'm going to um, put onto here, affix into amongst the foliage. So I've got a couple of those. I've got some succulents and if you wanted to do something that was artificial that you could have for all year round, you could use this. On the other th reason why I do these, and I should have told you right at the beginning, this is really nice for outdoor living art. You could put it in a patio, you could put it in a porch, on a terrace if you're living in, in a, um, an apartment and you haven't got much, like you haven't got anything green or you can't put anything outside, these can be really lovely on that wall just to break a bit of, bit of harmony into your environment. I've also got a couple of little succulents here which I'm going to use as well and um, you'll see as we go why I'm using the forms that I'm using. Right, with this here, I don't like those yellow flowers but I'm going to leave those for now. With these, the easiest way to work forward is to just pop those into there and I think I like I'd like that there which is going to give me a, a bit of more dimension I've got the rattan which I'm just going to stick into here and I'll push that right through like I've done with the other forms through the little holes in the grid and then when you, you're happy with the look that you've got, just flip it over. And because it's artificial, you don't need to be worrying about it. So there is the fern. So I'm just going to cable tie this onto there. I do so, as I said, I do lots and lots and lots of these. And they're really good for in hotels or in pubs or anywhere where living plants aren't going to be very, aren't going to be sustainable or won't live for very long. So once you get them into there, the best thing to, what I like to do is just turn those, you can just sort of like turn those over and then just get your cable tie and just push that through. And don't forget that there's a, when you're using your cable tie, there's, there's right bits and wrong ways of fixing it and if you don't get it right it just slips off and then with this bit into here where's that bit 
that's it, but there, so I'll just get that into there. It's a bit fiddly, but that's okay. Pushing that through to there, like so. And then I'll just push that little bit through there, so that that bit's out of the way. Right, let's have a look and see what we've achieved. Oh yeah, that's really very cool and groovy. Look at that, so it's just taken the whole length down and I've got that lovely fern up there. Right, the next way, the thing I want to do is to incorporate some other forms. So exactly the same process, just pushing that down. And this, the foliage acts like a really good base, so I'll put that into there. And I've also got these, which I'm, and what I'll do with those is, I've just wired those, and I've just put them one beside it, one on top of each other. So that can go down into there and push that through. And it's exactly the same process. See, look at that, how cool is that? That's looking really lovely, I'm loving that. Right, turning that over again, finding where you've stuck those in. There's one there. So it's pushing that down. These cable ties, I've got to tell you, I just love them. Pulling that quite tight. And then with this one over here, I just give it a little bit of a bend. And then putting that through there. Whoever invented these, I want you to know that they deserve to be thanked and they need a big kiss and a hug from me because it's made my life so much easier. So look at that, how cool is that? That's looking really lovely. That might be a bit too long, but that's okay because we can actually just take that up and into there like so. So right, once you, if you wanted to, you can put these into here which I might just do in a minute, but I'll leave that until I get this here sorted out. Right, now when it comes to putting your other forms in, I've got this lovely artificial little moth orchid. That could just be pushed into there, and I'll just put that into place. Look how rough I am. It's all right though, it's artificial. You can be very rough with these. Pushing that into there like so. Oops, it's got a bit up there with me everybody. I'll do it on that one there. Push that into there like that and let cut that bit there off because we don't want those excess bits. Let's have a look at where we're going. Right, so when I turn it round this side it's still a wee bit wiggly. Well that's fine because just get another cable tie and then go down into your grid like so and bring that through to there and fix that into place. And then with the foliage that's sticking down, just move that across so that you can't see it. So look, look at that, how we're building this beautiful picture. Isn't that lovely? I love stuff like this. And for a courtyard or anywhere where you needed that sort of little bit of green, you can just fix the, the materials in. Now, if you wanted to use the living orchids, which I think are just fabulous, look at that in there. How how lovely is that? Oh, absolutely beautiful, I just love it. What you can do is, getting your little vials like so, pushing that down into there, and then just fixing the cable ties. This is where you're gonna to have to turn it over. So there, there's my glass file there. It's just a matter of pushing that through there. Oops, I can't find the end. There it is, turning that over, I don't want to drop it, and just cable tying that into there like so. Did I get it? Yeah, I did get it. Whew. Might need to just push that down just a little bit further so that it, I know that it is firm because it is going to be holding water. And there it is there, and I, by covering it with the leaf, it just means that it's actually hidden and out of the way. So then that can be filled with water and then just cutting your orchid gently, gently, because I'm now using fresh and that can just be inserted into there. And you could have those at varying heights. You could bring the next one up into there, but I like that it's you've got this artificial and you've got all this lovely textures that it suit in most environments. I think if you've got an issue with your environment and you can't get it to work, always add a bit of green. So I can put another, fix that and put another orchid into it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you another day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.